In severe brain injury, although the child is young and we would think has a long time to heal, recover, in fact shows long-term difficulties. Sometimes it's sensory motor, difficulty with mobility, difficulty with language skills. But probably the most disqualifying of the problems that they have is difficulty with their mental skills like reasoning, thinking, memory. And for another group of uh, children, it's in self-control, their behavioral control. As they grow older, their ability to maintain age-appropriate self-control, to cooperate, to be involved. So long after the brain injury, all of a sudden we can show up with a number of learning problems, difficulties getting along in school, difficulties with both academic and social learning, in addition to that, difficulty with behaviors that help them get along with individuals, with their peers, and with family members. I think what's interesting is we're discovering with children that even though they're young, and the old myth is, is that because you're injured young, well, your brain repairs better. And in these severe injuries, that is not always the case. In fact, what happens is, for a long period of time, uh, these children end up having more and more difficulties as the demands of their life show up. Uh, the other thing is they don't have the benefit of previous learning. In the adults, they can always drop back to some previous learning that they've had in their life. Uh, old habits and ways of doing things. Things that they were once taught, fundamental ways of solving problems and getting along. Children, when they're injured early, never get this early learning opportunity. As a result, they not only had difficulty because of brain injury, but the loss of learning that took place early in life for fundamental skills. That's, a, that's interesting. It came out of a uh, family who developed a brain injury uh, project in New York City after their, their daughter was injured at a very young age. It was an inflicted injury. It was a devastating injury in terms of this young lady's development. Over the course of time, the dad became very interested in how to develop a nationwide system of care. He took on this idea of trying to promote a nationwide, state-by-state -state system of care for pediatric brain injury. And he brought together representatives from all over the country, medical centers, universities, family, professionals that have worked in the field. And from that, they developed a pediatric brain injury system. What they did is they didn't put that together in terms of how you would implement that across the state. And in each state, there's a lead agency, and we're the lead agency in the state of Virginia, the Commonwealth of Virginia. What he then did is he took this, and we have approached Congress. They're trying to pass the Pediatric Brain Injury uh, Act, uh, which they hope to get through Congress. Um, Mr. Donahue, who is the dad, uh, is doing it. And we happen to be part of promoting this center development on a state-by-state -state basis. Uh, the, the emphasis is on a lot of community services, the emphasis is on extended services for the children, and so there are plans not only to help interface with the medical community, but educational communities, psychosocial communities, and eventually transitional living and vocational services for the older adolescents. So what we're doing is we're trying to coordinate that plan from here uh, looking at the Commonwealth of Virginia. They put out applications in each state. They put out a feeler, if you will, for applications to compete for that. We, I went ahead and wrote a, uh, a, a proposal and we submitted it. That uh, submission came back uh, indicating we were chosen to be the lead and we in that proposal, I had actually talked to a number of agencies in the state of Virginia that are uh, involved in brain injury in general and pediatric brain injury specifically, and I coordinated them to participate, to be willing to take up the, uh, the uh, act and uh, work on it, and in fact, that's what we did, and we won the competition. I think the biggest thing is that how much what we were able to do has changed over the years. I started doing this back in 1970. And when you look at the amount of medical, psychosocial, neuropsychological knowledge we have to bring to bear to the children, it really does come down to something like the Cerebrain uh, program, where we don't have a good delivery system. We don't have a coordinated, integrated, well-managed delivery system to get children from the acute medical settings into uh, schools, into homes, 
into community activities that are in their benefit. And uh, when, when I reflect on this and thinking about the presentation tonight and everything, uh, the truth is we've come a long, long ways. Our dilemma now is to continue pushing science ahead to learn more, but also to find ways of implementing in a coordinated, integrated way what we already know and to disseminate this and put a care system in place that can use the best and most recent discoveries to help these children. 